Well, hey, Einstein Michael, he's nearly there. It's 479 subscribers. This is fantastic. Um, well done, well done. Very few more to do. Uh, have a look at mine. Oh, oh. 918 uh, subscribers. Thank you for the new subscribers, but we have 82 more to get before we get to the 1,000. Sorry, you said 100. <laughs> 82 for 1,000. Come on, guys. All right, then. So I'm going to show you game glass. Alrighty, so we're here. Game glass. What is game glass? I think you all heard it mentioned. Um, majority of you maybe know, or even not know what it is. Uh, it is a app that you can download and a service that's supplied which will allow the connection between a another, another application running but it could be on a console or a tablet or a phone and that will allow you to control um, certain aspects. It, it emulates a key press and then sends that of it to the application so you can have shards now if i have a look here here's a shard um it's basically a screen and this one's navigation is a pilot screen so you can switch and do your quantum travel your cruise your gear your auto landing your lights etc um i did a little video of um my tablet i'm not sure if i'm going to attach that to this because it is just me pointing at a screen uh trust me they look really really good um okay so this app why why is it not running <laughs> bear with me all right so here's the app um it's something that you download from the site and it will um allow you to create your own shard or your own screen with buttons and stuff like that. It's just quite simple to use, a little GUI, which I won't go into. That's something for you to explore. Or you can use uh, many of the free ones that there. But uh, I'm going to have a look at the official license shards from which, is, which are Star Citizen ones. So if I do this, it will bring it up the, the page here. OK, so you can get started with a free one which you can put on your phone. But <clears throat> paying wise, if I just quickly go over it, um, you can have your free account, which you can set up today. Or as I have done, I paid my three pound and um, all the equivalent dollars, four dollars, whatever it is. Um, and that allows you to access all the shards. Now, the official ones are premium shards and they are these ones and they're very good. OK, so I'm just going to quickly show them to you so we can see them <coughs> in their editor. All right, then. So these are the Star Citizen ones. This is the free one I tried and the Star Citizen one a premium. So, OK, all right, um, here we have the screens. All right, so I'm going to go avionics. So this is the basic avionics screen um, showing you that one. Uh, OK, combat, the various settings. Hopefully you can read some of this. Uh, pilot, lovely. Look at that one. Nice layout. I'll use the pilot one. Mining this is great because you get the modules. You can just push and activate them as and when. Brilliant. Uh, social, I love this one. This is one I use all the time. It's just great. Uh, EVA, EVA uh, when you're out and about and you think, oh my God, what do I do? You've got it all here. And finally, vehicles. Uh, just for maybe missiles, a horn, more importantly, boost, <laughs> ping, scan, <laughs> cycle. For cameras, for different ones, doors opening and closing. Lovely. It's all there. All right, then. So these are the official ones that I am currently using because I think they are very well laid out. More importantly, uh, these buttons up here are great. Uh, call um, air traffic control. You got your comms. Uh, you got that one, which you can hardly see is in um, a Moby glass. And this one is your star map. 
is all there. Lovely. And that button there will enable you to change to another shard, which is just great for when you're, if you're socializing, when you're moving around the base, st the station, then you want to go to the flight one, you push it, go to the pilot, and you're there, and you got it, and you're sitting in, and you think, spool up, starts quantum drive, okay, you go there, you can go there for star map, and then when you're ready to go, and you're lined up, boom, and hit that button, um, or press the screen, more importantly, and then you've got quantum drive. Lovely. Okay, thank you. You have this running in the background, and that effectively, what this does, it sends um, the equivalent information like saying, like, please send, if I want to do the attention one, um, it's something like um, alt right, I, right alt um, number seven or keypad seven. Um, so you would just, it effectively sends that message to Star Citizen and it will process it as a key press. All right, lovely. So that's basically it. That's basically how it works. Um, it's great. Uh, there is money involved. I'm not affiliated with a uh, with um, Game Glass. Uh, I don't get money. I don't get revenue. I don't get five percent. I can't give you five percent of anything. Uh, I apologise, but um, give it a go. It is free pound. When you think what you paid for Star Citizen, what we all have, the minimum we all have paid, three uh, pound for trial of, of one one month. Yeah, give it a go. Uh, you might find you don't use it. I find that I have been using it a lot and it's good fun. And it's nice just to lean across and push a button instead of doing a key press because you might be flying. Or you might be talking to someone and not remember uh, that you want to insult them or gloat at them or show a failure. Um, you don't remember the key press for it. Oh, it might not even be um, actually assigned to a key as it was the case with me. All right then. One thing to know, one thing, um, with the default, it has a, a little um, alarm for each one. So it goes, doom, doom, doom. If you go to settings and turn the volume here, it will be on 100. Turn that to zero, then you don't hear it. And you don't record it when you're recording, more importantly. Okay. There are other, other options here, but that's the only option I've changed. Okay. So that's basically game glass um i think it's great so i'm going to go in game and i will show you um show you it working with the socials all right then thank you very much howdy ladies and gentlemen so we're in the game i'm with my uh, incredible assistant emma say hi guys thank you for that thank you for your interaction um so first things first let's show you the keys all right escape options um now they're all surprisingly if you go to key bindings go down to advanced controls go to control profiles we it's already set up oh for the keyboard lovely game glass for the keyboard now if you set anything up for um joysticks and stuff like that you will have to set it up again uh, but this is uh, possibly this will load in for the keyboard device. So any other custom keys might get overwritten. OK, so importantly, when you're loading in a profile, you click on the profile. Um, then you're given this screen it will import. Yeah, I think. But you have to select it or else it won't load it. You have to load it onto that one there for keyboards. You have to go select one. And then do load. I won't do that because I've already done it. Okay. Um, you can quickly check for if you look for social emotes, go down and they're all here. They're already there because these aren't in there by default. But they certainly weren't for me. Okay. So these are mapped to the key, the emulated key presses that will be sent from your laptop, your tablet, or your phone that you're using with um, game glass all right lovely all right then so we return to the game and we have our emma all right say hi again emma wonderful all right so let's press something uh let's let's do let's do what i normally do <laughs> uh yeah never it doesn't work for me as well uh we'll do a burp nice in my helmet lovely we'll cheer yay attention and 
thank you very much okay hey, hey, hey. he really is a cool guy all right no he's not <laughs> emma what have you done <laughs> all right so that that's basically it that is uh, game glass is very very cool <coughs> i'm thoroughly enjoying using it um, it extends your game, you can use all the emotes and they're all there in front of you and then you can go to the different shards <coughs> I'll cut that out wow uh, I've <coughs> fly in my throat or something um, so you can go to different shards, all the displays um, ever so easy to do and then you can just do things like Moby Glass turn it off um, map lovely uh, we can go comms, just get map out, normal comms, let's talk to people, lovely, it's all there, it, you just do it, just brilliant, and greet, uh, it's wonderful, like Shakespeare, <laughs> lovely, uh, so that's like the business, alright then, so uh, Emma and I will go and enjoy ourselves, and um, yeah, you have a great day support the channel um enter the competitions subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you out there in the black stuff oh seven my friends oh seven